And I can see that Coach Ogeron is with us now. And Coach, I, I thank you so much for taking some time out of your night to celebrate and, and talk to me. Uh, you said before the game started, let's battle. And it was that. Your guys are yep. down to a great team by 10. What did they show you in their ability to take those punches and throw those punches back? <laughs> Grit, determination, belief. We always believed that we were going to win the game. We knew they were a great football team. They won 29 in a row. It was going to be a battle, but we was in it for 60 minutes. I can't think of too many kids in the SEC that come down from up north, you know. And here's an Ohio kid, and we know his story. But as I was just talking about, he'll be a legend down there forever. And as you try to tell me what he gave you, the 60 touchdowns and the big moments how, how will you remember him years from now, Ed, when you're an old man and you try to tell somebody what yeah. Joe Burrow did in 2019? What yeah. will you tell him? I think he's one of the greatest players in LSU history. Obviously, we've had a lot of great players here, but what Joe's brought to this university is the spread offense, uh, the grit and his determination, his will to win. Uh, you know, he's a very smart young man. He graduated from Ohio State in three years. Thank God we had him for two years. Give credit to our coaches and our receivers. But, you know, Joe Burrow is one of the greatest players I've ever been around. Tom Rinaldi tried. Reese Davis tried. I guess I'm the third guy to try to, to get you to answer this question for me. Um, I know it means everything for you for the state of Louisiana. I know more than that it means everything for you for giving this to your team, to your coaching staff. But, but Ed, for you. For a boy that grew up in Louisiana, and now you're wearing that, that, that LSU color, and you won the title, and you won it in New Orleans. For you, what will you allow yourself? What satisfaction do you allow yourself? You know, I'm I just thank God for the opportunity. I'm proud of You know, I'm smart enough to know that I've been surrounded by great players, a great university, and great coaches. And without them, I wouldn't be sitting here. It took right. all of us together. A lot of the pieces fall into place. Uh, one team, one heartbeat. Everybody has a great role in our championship team. Cole Kublik told me a great story. He said he was down in your office and you shared with him that when you get there in the morning, you take a look around, you take inventory, you say your prayers, you got some dumbbells over there, get yourself a little bit of yeah. pump, right? Got to stay in shape. <laughs> but in a quiet morning when you're, looking, right. when you're looking around and you think back at this season and all the teams that you beat, and how you guys did it, one team, one heartbeat. Is there a specific moment, a picture, a moment in time that you think your mind will go back to from this year? You know, they built me a brand-new patio in uh, Old Oak Tiger Stadium. And I say my prayers every morning at 6 o'clock. And I look at Tiger Stadium, I thank God for the opportunity to be the head coach at Louisiana State University and ask him for the words and the wisdom to give this team today. And I remember us going on the road. Uh, we were 8 0, and we had Alabama and we had Ole Miss. And I just prayed that we could come back 10 0. If we come back 10 0, I thought we could win it, and we did it. I think it was a, cha a turning point in our season. All right, big picture now. You guys have won. You're in a town where it's, it, I joked around, Ed, it's, it's, it's built for a party on a normal night, and tonight's <laughs> not a normal night. So how, from now until the, you meet with your coaching staff, how do you spend this time with your family and friends? You know, we're going to go back to it. We got a nice suite. I got I got Kelly and my three boys with me. Uh -huh. We're probably going to get a ham sandwich or maybe some boot down or something, go to bed and wake up tomorrow and do it again. <laughs> Come on, Coach. A ham sandwich. You just won the national title. I haven't lost in two years, for yeah. God's sakes. You got to at least find a gas station that's yeah. got some chicken on a stick. Some Give me something, man. You yeah. Got, hey, you we may find that, uh, but it would be good. But we just simple folks. We love our life. I love my family. Uh, my personal time with them is going to be uh, we don't go out. We don't do things like that. I got and, you. Uh, we represent the state of Louisiana, so we, we're excited. All right, and then and then how long before you're back out on the road trying to bring in the next wave of five stars? How long you give yourself before you're back yeah, working? I'm going, hey, I'm starting to recruit. I can't wait. I'll be on the phone tonight. Uh, we, it's a dead period, but a Friday morning I'll be on out on the road recruiting, uh, bringing in the next great, great crop of players, uh, the LSU Tigers. Well, Ed, go, go get yourself a ham sandwich, man. You've, you've earned that at a minimum. <laughs> Congratulations on this season. It was a treat to watch, and I appreciate you sitting down for us tonight. Thank you. Go Tigers. There you go. Coach O. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.